Hey everyone, DW Rugs here, back again with another video. This is gonna be a pretty quick video. Today I'm gonna be rebuilding my rug frame. I'm gonna be heading to Home Depot here shortly, and then I will come back and explain all the materials I got and how to build it. So, let's get into it. So, we've got our carpet tack over here. We've got some corner braces here, some clamps to hold it down to the table, screws, the actual table and all the wood is cut over there. So first of all, I line the wood up against the wall like this so that it's easier to drill the holes. So let's start with the sizes of the wood. The wood that I bought is 96 inches total in length and I buy two of them. So I cut the first one into two 40 inch pieces and there is a piece left over. And then for the second piece, I cut one 43 inch piece and leave the rest for the bottom of the frame. The top part is 43 inches so that it can overlap the other two side pieces. I used a quarter inch drill bit and two and a half inch screws to put the wood together like you can see here. Next we have the carpet tack and normally I get carpet tack with nails on them to secure to the wood but Home Depot only had tack with adhesive on the back but it held up pretty well so we'll see how the first rug goes with it. First I'll line it up and mark where I need to cut it and then I have a pair of PVC cutters that I use to cut on that line. And then we place it down and firmly press it to get the adhesive to stick. Next we will unfold the table and clamp the frame down and there you have the finished product. Alright so I'm just going to quickly go through what the costs were for everything. Uh, I went to Home Depot and so for the foldable table it was $39.88. For the corner braces, which I didn't end up using anyways, but they those were three dollars and eighty-seven cents. Um, the two clamps for the table were twelve dollars ninety-six cents. The screws were seven dollars fifty-eight cents for the box. The carpet tack was nine fourteen. The Wood was $6.36 plus a six cent fee to have them cut. Um, so the total with tax was $86.03. So overall, it's not too expensive to build. But again, I know that there are some people that sell the parts that you could put together yourself. Um, to make a frame. I think they're around like 60 or $70. The only reason I wanted to make it myself was one, to make this video for anyone that wants to do it themselves. And two, because I wanted the frame to be three feet by three feet. And a lot of the ones I was seeing were like two feet by two feet or two and a half feet by two and a half feet. Um, so I wanted to make it the same size as the one I had beforehand. And yeah, so thank you for watching. I hope you took something away from this video. Hopefully you'll go and make your own rug frame now and hopefully this helps. So thank you. I'll see you in the next video.